Hey guys, so you know I made a video about how the US is investigating TSMC over Huawei's chipsets, right? Well now it's official. The US found that Huawei's new smartphones are still using chipsets they're not even allowed to have. They're not supposed to make them or buy them, but somehow they still got them. Let me break it down. So back in 2019, the US banned Huawei from accessing any advanced chipsets. Big companies like TSMC, Qualcomm and Intel were all stopped from doing business with them. TSMC followed the rules and cut off Huawei, or at least that's what we were told. But recently something strange showed up. A tech team called Tech Insights took a part of the Huawei's AI chips, the Huawei SN910B and guess what? Inside, they found a TSMC-made chip. Now, that's a big deal because these are the 7 nanometer advanced chips that Huawei shouldn't have access to. So the US started digging deeper, and things got messy. Turns out, TSMC may have been supplying chips to Huawei indirectly through a Chinese company called SoftGo. And even though TSMC blacklisted SoftGo, reports say that they are still producing chips for them. Now, the US believes that Huawei got those chipsets through this loophole, and because of that, TSMC faced $1 billion fine and the case is closed. And now, we are seeing that Huawei is still making advanced smartphones and AI products even though TSMC is no further supplying chipsets to any of the Chinese firm. So how is that even possible? Well, here's where things get crazy. Despite all the bans and investigations, Huawei already got what they needed. According to the semi-analysis, they've stocked around $500 million worth of the 7 nanometer chipsets, most likely made by TSMC before the restrictions got tighter. That's enough chipsets to power their next generation AI processes like the SN910C and even enough for their future smartphones. So a lot of my viewers were confused how Huawei is still making these chipsets. Well, they are not making them anymore. They already got a lot of those chipsets from TSMC which are enough for their future smartphones and when these chipsets eventually run out, by that time, Huawei might already have another solution ready. Maybe they'll even start making their own chipsets. Who knows? But the smart thing is, because of this clever move by Huawei, their business didn't stop and they also bought themselves some extra time to figure out a long-term solution. So what do you think? Did Huawei outsmart the US sanctions or is there more to come? Let me know in the comments down below and if you found this update interesting, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more fast tech breakdowns. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.